So, you know, a few months back, we also uh, visited <laughs> Country Day School uh, for a preview of their state-of-the-art classroom. Now with their program in full swing, we went back to the school to see how it's all working out. This was all cinder block. This was a very dark, cavernous mm -hmm. hallway. Mm -hmm. uh, no light, no color, no energy, no pop. What we've done by creating these windows is create a transparent environment where we can see learning take place, where kids walk down the hall and want to be involved what's happening inside that classroom. And there's a lot happening in those classrooms to keep their attention. Right on the walls, but they won't yell at you. Right, you. <laughs> He's talking about the white walls that are also doors. We'll get back to those in a second. But first, I couldn't no. help but notice the new and improved seating. You need one of these for your office. Mm -hmm. These are called buoys. Mm -hmm. Kids self-select. They may want to sit on a buoy for a little while. It kind of uh, emulates a bouncy ball chair, but it's for the child that got a little bit more, you know, pizzazz at that particular moment. It is natural and it's organic to get them up and going, and that is the part of the energy also. And I think you do need to move. One of the criticisms I got as, as a kid was, do you have ants in your pants? <laughs> and I think that's the highest compliment you can give a child Thank because you. they are into it. If they're moving around, they're they're part of what's, what's taking place. I knew I liked you. <laughs> now, to get back to those moving walls, they open up to allow classes to work together. There are idea spaces for the kids and teachers uh, to go and brainstorm ideas. In fact, we have five classrooms on this hall that can open to a single space. We can have a hundred kids working together if that's what we wanted to do. We saw this in action as one Spanish class did reading and research. The other was working on a creative project. Okay, so I jumped into it. Yes. You can get it means stupendous? Yes, yeah. basically. Awesome. All right, so let's do some drawing. Can I get a yellow? Yeah, here you go. But it's about more than cool furniture and movable walls. The number one thing that we were driving at in these renovations was giving the kids the opportunity to build knowledge. I think there's energy and transparency and energy and mission and purpose. And that's what we want our kids to be driven by. What's happening in there? I want to be part of it. And as the world religions teacher told us, it's all about opening up possibilities for students. You know, kids are kids. These are all just tools. When you have more tools in our toolbox, when one thing doesn't work with one kid, you've got other tools to go to. And I think that that's what's exciting. I think the more variety that you can offer kids, then kids can personalize their learning and, um, and, and really rise to the challenge. So have they seen a change? Can you see them paying attention more? What has been like the immediate payoff? The immediate payoff is that their eyes light up when they walk into the space. They're automatically and instantly looking around saying, what are we doing today? That you can't pay for. <laughs> that is something that every teacher longs for, is that instant buy-in from the student. All right. Well, we have, cool. did you like it? Yeah. Impressive, right? Julie Bianchi, along with Chloe and Kate, are here with us in studio, and they're going to do a couple of demonstrations for us about how they approach learning differently. Thank you, both of you, for being here. Yeah, good morning, yes, girls. Right. So, so what is this idea about, uh, you know, you were given this this morning. What is this, an old VCR? Yes. Yeah, VCR. What, was the, what was the point, Julie? What were you trying to get them to do? Encouraging them for what? You know, the point of, of the taking apart and putting back together is really mm -hmm. learning about the process of how things work, mm -hmm. okay, and how things are constructed, right? and the whole idea behind trial and error. So as you put it back together, you shouldn't have any of these pieces left. <laughs> things right. should be right. strong, when you plug it in, yeah. um, it, it should work. So you've and seen me put work. together the swing set for the kids. There were like right. six bolts and another thing, and it was there like, you go. Yeah. Or that exactly. good old Ikea furniture, exactly. right? Yeah, You're right. like, yeah, exactly. those, we don't need those. We don't yeah. need those. And as we put, try to build, you know, the idea of resiliency, okay, mm -hmm. and persistence in our students, right. they have fun with the trial and error of projects okay. like this. But you know, the, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. This is just different than when I went to school, and I'll tell you why. I've seen the definition of innovation. And you're innovating, right? Yeah. You feel comfortable doing that? Mm -hmm. Yes. The definition of innovation is that you're allowed to fail. You have mm -hmm. permission mm -hmm. to fail. I don't really think that I think back to my scholastic career like I had any permission to fail. I had to really do something right, and that binds you up, doesn't it? I agree. It, it does. And the, and the whole idea, you know, you'll, you'll hear this more and more in education, is um, engineering failure. Mm -hmm. oh. The teacher mm -hmm. is engineering opportunities where kids you know, struggle. Right. And it doesn't work. And Chloe, can you speak to that a little? I definitely, when I come to STEAM class, I feel like I'm open to fail. It's almost like the teachers want us to make mistakes. So we can figure out 
what's going to happen next, why will this happen, what's wrong, and ways we can improve on it and advance right. it. Right, and how about you, Kate? Yeah, like, uh, innovation is like being able to create, and we create and we build off of that, and that's how we build new mm -hmm. things. Right, and I guarantee you guys that this is going to take you into your future. You learn by trial and error, right, Chuck? Oh, yeah. Yes. Can you do some more? What? So you're yeah. putting this back together, I know. Yeah, we just put in the DVD player. Yep, and cool. we uh, unscrewed this. We'll we, screw back in. Yeah. Okay. So is this like a normal class assignment for you guys? Is this like um, normal day at school? Yeah. At school we uh, in STEAM class we usually just do experiments and projects. Like awesome. last year we did a project uh, with Makey Makey. It was a software project and um, coding. That's and we awesome. also the past week we used eleven file folders and to see how much weight they could hold in. That's great. You. Well, let's tell everybody what STEAM is for those who don't know. Well, STEAM is science, technology, engineering, arts, arts. and math. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I love to see together. these young ladies yeah. doing yeah. it. Yeah. Right? Well, that's, that's what that's we're perfect. trying to do. Let's break the walls of gender specific, you know, right. the rules, so to speak. It's um, nice to know you can do the mechanical stuff because uh, as parents, we've come to figure out already that uh, you just go to your kid to help you figure out your exactly. iPhone. Like you get, you're mm -hmm. born and right. you guys already know how to do this. So <laughs> yeah. exactly. thank you ladies for coming by this morning. You're a real inspiration to everybody. Absolutely. Thank you, yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah.